this lesson I want to explain offset bone. For such a this uh, character that I created, it's very simple. For example, as you can see, the character is facing to the left, and this will this left leg is behind a lot of layers and we want to create a bone for that for example for walking and we cannot see that it's behind there for creating the bone we have to select all of them then group them as i said explained before <coughs> explained before you can convert it to the bone and simply create your bone uh, for doing that uh, before doing that i need to separate the legs to better uh boning them so select a folder for bone we create a bone we create a for example base bone then this bone then this bone and we have to as i said before we have to connect the bone the leg bone to the base bone holding alt to parent them with this Again, holding Alt to parent with this. As I said before, you can see the reparent. All of the bones are connecting to the main bone. We want that. And uh, we want to animate it. And we have to bring all of these uh, bones to <clears throat> its original position. Before that, as you can see, we are boning for layers. So we select all of the strings, make them zero because we want to bind them to the layers. Deselect select everything, select the layer. I want to bind it with the bone. Bind it, this, bind with this, this, bind with this bone, bone and done. Everything is done. We are binding with the other bone when we for example manipulate it as you can see you can change them very easily with that another thing another tool is here i want to explain it it's offset bone we can simply as you can see we are in a zero with the offset bone we can bring the bone um, with the layers back it's in the positions and done and you are ready to animate just a simple uh changing the timeline to the one it's if if it's in a zero it's a separate but if because we use the offset bone to bringing the bone back to the its position or any position that you want if you want to create an animation it suddenly jump to its original position the offset bone does this uh work automatically for you so for such a uh character that are not in a t position the best position for T position uh, rigging, for example, it's looking this, uh, just one, two simple walking. You can, uh, uh, first, you have to separate the, its parts and then join, uh, boning them separately. And after that, using offset bone, uh, use it offset bone to bringing the bone with its bind layer to the position that you want. And, it's happening a zero if you go to the one it's snapping to each other and you can create in your animation simple hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release